as we know, in the electrophilic addition of alkene using the reagents H plus from an acid and water, we are trying to convert the alkene into the alcohol. Right. So now let's look at this example here. This is one butene. And according to the mechanism, step one includes the pi bond picking up the H plus. Right? And then now we have dilemma again. Should this H plus go to this terminal carbon or the other carbon? Again, we have to try. So let's put this H here first. The positive charge will go to the next adjacent carbon. Right? You get this. And if I try the other way, that means the hydrogen atom goes here. So we would have positive charge at the terminal carbon and hydrogen going to this carbon. So now we compare. We have learned that this is classified as a secondary carbocation ion and this is a primary carbocation ion because for this carbon, there's only one R group attached to itself. Whereas for that carbon here, you have two R groups that's connected to it. And since we know that a tertiary carbocation ion is more stable than secondary carbocation ion, then a primary carbocation ion, then a metal carbocation ion. If we have a choice, we will prefer to form the more stable carbocation ion here, but I can't do that in this case. But the next best thing will be a secondary carbocation ion, which means that this would not be formed because it's unstable. And so we continue from here. The water will go in and give you this product here. And this is known as 2 but Right. So from here you see that from one butene, if you put in these reagents, the acid and water, you could only get two butanol as your main major product. 